the hospital. When I was little, my daddy hurt himself and went to hospital. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Mummy went to see Daddy. So I played with Angel. Well, he came too. Angel and me played dressing up. I put on a crown. Angel wheeled me around in my carriage. At night time, Daddy wasn't better. I slept in Mummy's bed. I wanted to see my Daddy. Me when Daddy folded me up. I like the picture of Daddy lifting me up to touch the sky. Mummy took me to see Daddy in the hospital. What's that, Mummy? That's an ambulance. I like the hospital. The hospital was big. The hospital was busy. We squirted smelly stuff on our hands. Mummy said that in the hospital, everything had to be clean. Don't forget, Willie. There were lots of busy people. It was nearly lunchtime, but people were still in bed. What are those people doing, Mummy? They're all getting better. Mummy said the people were getting better. They didn't look very better to me. Some people were wheeled around in their beds, looking for their pajamas, I thought. Daddy had a special room he lived in. Oh, hi. We're done now, so you can go in and see him. I wanted to see Daddy. I looked in the door. There was a man in the bed with a towel on his head. Hi there, Tig. He looks like a puppet Come with on. strings. Go and say hello to Daddy, Tig. No, I said. That's not my Daddy. Hey, Tig. Hospitals are funny places, all topsy-turvy. They can make you feel all topsy-turvy too. Daddy might not look like Daddy, but Daddy is still Daddy. Daddy looks different, that's all. Daddy hurt his leg, so he's wearing a plaster on his leg to make it better. But he's still Daddy. Daddy hurt his head, so he's wearing a bandage to make his head better. But he's still Daddy. Whee! Daddy looks like a puppet with tubes and things. Diddly doo doo, diddly doo. <laughs> but they are all there to make him better. You look different at angels when you dressed up like a king. Daddy's dressed up like a king too. So hey Tig, have fun with Daddy now he's a king with his crown and his own royal carriage. Wee! And then one day, Daddy will be all better and lift you up to touch the sky again. Yes, I thought. I want to see my Daddy with his white bandage crown and his puppet strings. Right. I'll tell you the funny story about what happened. Daddy told me the funny story of why he was in the hospital. <laughs> he tripped over running for a bus. Silly Daddy hadn't tied his laces. The blue nurse came in and found Willie on the bed. It's only a toy spider. <laughs> I like hospitals. I love my Daddy. And I love Willie. We've been scared since we were me. Open wide. When I was little, my mummy took me to see the dentist. Willie came too. I made sure my teeth were really clean. Do you like going to the dentist? Yeah. yeah. Mummy said it was fun and the dentist was going to count my teeth. At the dentist, a nice lady sat behind a big desk. Hello, Tig, said the lady. That's the suckers that we've got, Tig. 
The lady said I would get a badge for having my teeth counted. We had to wait for the dentist. Lots of people were sitting on chairs. We sat next to a giggly lady. Can you show me how you brush your teeth? I showed the giggly lady how I clean my teeth. Very good indeed. Oh, that's good. Mrs Kraken, do you want to come through? Oh. A lady asked Mrs Giggly, Come this way, please. Bye-bye, Mrs Giggly. Bye. One, two, three. In the corner of the room was a play shop. Me and some children played play shop. Hi. I did lots of counting. Hi, Tag, it's your turn now. I like the dentist. Her name was Rita. I've got some juice here that you need to gargle around your mouth and you spit in the bowl. So that washes your tooth and that dries your tooth. Rita showed me lots and lots of things. Things I'd never seen before. There's a slur. Pea sucker, a water shooter, oh, sunglasses, a polisher. It's a special, special fast electric toothbrush. It's a special thing to toothbrush. Is that good? But best of all was the chair. And then right up into the sky. The chair could go up and down and back and forward like a ride at the fun fair. Right, I'm going to count your teeth now. This is my tooth counter for counting your teeth. Open wide. Please. I shut my mouth. I didn't like the tooth counter. In a minute, she said. Rita chattered and clattered. Hey, Tig. There's nothing wrong with the tooth counter. It's just a magic wand to help Rita with her counting. You'll never know how many teeth you have until you open your mouth. Opening your mouth is as easy as yawning. <sighs> Opening your mouth is as easy as eating a plum. Opening your mouth is as easy as laughing. Ha 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 ha! Ah ah ah! I'm just going to put my visor on. Okay, Tig. Open wide for me and we can count these teeth. Open wide, said Rita. Open wide. Rita counted my teeth with her magic Whee! wand. 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. You've got 20 teeth in there. I thought we were call you spider. Are you all done? She was very brave. The lady at the desk gave me my badge. And Willie has a stick. Of course he can. Oh, there you go. Well done. I wanted a badge for Willie too. I like the dentist. Willie likes the dentist too. I love Willie. Christmas magic. When I was little, I liked Christmas time the best. At Christmas time, everything twinkled and sparkled and looked different and magic. One Christmas tree for Grandad. But there was one Christmas when we were going to have a very special Christmas day. Climbing up. One Christmas cake for Grandad. We are going to stay with Grandad. We are going to make Christmas magic for Grandad too. Yeah. I chose a special Christmas present for Grandad from me. It was a big, big Santa. Before we went to Grandad, we listened to Christmas carols. Carols were in a big, high place. When we came out of a big high place, it was snowing. Oh, 
Oh, Santa will love this. Why? So the reindeer can pull his sleigh in the snow. The next day was Christmas Eve. It was all snowy. It was magical. Hooray! Santa can ride his sleigh. We put all the special things for Grandad's Christmas in the car. It was a long way to Grandad's. Mummy and me played I Spy. White and fluffy. Clowns. Counting cars. How many red cars you can see? One, two. And sang songs. I love Willie and Willie loves me. We've been together, together since we were wee. It was a long way to Grandad. We had to stop for lunch in a little cafe. After the cafe, Mummy drove the car. Daddy and me played I Spy. White and crunchy. Snow. Yay! Counting cars. So if you see a blue car, we count, OK? One, two, and three, And sang songs. We play hide and we play run. We have funny, funny, funny fun. fun. Then Daddy fell asleep. Mummy, can you tell me a story? Uh, no, Teg, no. I've got to concentrate on driving. Outside, I couldn't see much. Just snow. Are we there yet? Uh, no, Teg, not yet. It was a long way to Grandad. I was bored. Hey, Teg, long journeys can be boring when there's nothing to do. But there is something you can do all by yourself. You can make up a story. A finger and thumb story. A finger and thumb Christmas story. Your fingers and thumbs can be all the different people in the story. Yeah, that's right. Go for it, Tig. Have a think and tell yourself a story with your fingers and thumbs. Yes, I thought. I can tell myself a story. Once upon a time, Mummy and Daddy and wee Pinky Tig walked through the snow. A reindeer came along, pulling a sleigh. In the sleigh was Santa. Santa looked just like Grandad. Then suddenly, we arrived at Grandad's house. It was like magic. I was so happy to see Grandad. Oh, happy Christmas Eve. The funny thing was, there is no snow now. Grandad, there's no snow. Oh, don't worry, Tig. Snow or no snow, Santa'll still get here. One Christmas tree for Grandad. Oh. Presents for Grandad. And open them now. No, not until tomorrow. We were bringing Christmas magic to Grandad. Our special Christmas Eve box. Oh. Mummy had a special Christmas Eve box. Grandad said I could open it. But I opened the box. There was a brand new pair of Christmas pajamas. A stocking to hang up for Santa. For all my presents. And some funny toys for us all to play with. Frog race. Oh, frog race. We'll go make this up. Come on then. Then Grandad and me had a race. Okay, Tech. We ready? One, two, three, go. Go! Oh! <laughs> After supper, I put in my new Christmas pajamas. Outside there was still no snow. Biscuits for Santa. We need to leave them at the chimney. Oh, but look, Grandad doesn't have a chimney. Grandad needs to have a chimney. I know. Why don't we go and put it in the hall, OK? Come on, then, we'll go and leave it in the hall. Chimney or no chimney, Santa's still going to leave you presents. Grandad didn't have a chimney. So we left the biscuits at the front door. Yeah. I hung my stocking at the end of my bed. Mummy, how will Santa know I'm at Grandad's house, not my house? Because Santa will always know where you are, Tig. Right, come on, into bed. <laughs> Santa will always know where you are, said Mummy. Mummy kissed me. Night, night. But I couldn't go to sleep. I was worried. There was no snow for Santa's sleigh. No chimney for Santa to climb down. And did Santa know I was staying at Grandad's? Hey, Tig, it's a worry to wonder how Santa will visit with no snow, no chimney, and not knowing where you are staying. But hey, sometimes things just happen. That's the magic. Especially.
especially when Grandad says, snow or no snow, Santa will still get here. Especially when Daddy says, chimney or no chimney, Santa will still bring presents. Especially when Mummy says, Santa will always know where you are. I want to see Santa. Hey, I'm sure Santa wants to see you too. But for magic to happen, there's no peeping. If you peep, it wouldn't be magic. Go for it, Tig. Pop into bed and snug down to sleep. Think of cosy, happy thoughts. And soon it will be Christmas Day. Close your eyes for sleepy buys. Float all fluffy and light. Smiles and kisses and giggles and hugs will snooze you through the night. Think of where you'd like to be. Wiggling toes in sandy sea. Snuggle down soft or cosy and sweet. Counting kisses and trees. Sleepy tight. Yes, I thought. No peeping. And then it was Christmas Day. My room was filled with snowflakes. It was magic. At the end of the bed was my stocking filled by Santa. Merry Christmas, Tig. Merry Christmas. Oh. Wow, so Santa found you. I thought you would. Have you gone? Around the Christmas tree we opened more presents. Best of all was giving Mummy her present from me. Oh my goodness, I love these. Oh, lovely. Very nice. What is it? Best of all was giving Daddy his present from me. Oh, I love it. It suits you. Best of all was giving Grandad his present from me. Oh! <laughs> his very own Santa. Just like you, Grandad. I think it looks a bit like me. My best present was my magic set from Grandad. No, it's Ted's magic show. After lunch, I did a magic show. No peeping, I said. It wouldn't be magic if you do. Abracadabra! Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are going to do the most amazing trick. Whoa. There's an empty hat. <laughs> Go for it, Tig. I liked making Christmas magic for Grandad. There's an empty hat. I love Willie. 